Okay, guys. I'm here for episode two of the Slams of May. A very interesting episode this will be. As tonight's Slam of May is In Your House, Beware of Dog. The eighth In Your House, but it took place in two different locations. And on two different days. What's the reason for that? Well, the event took place on May the 26th, 1996. That was the original day it was supposed to take place. It, from the Florence Civic Center in Florence, South Carolina. While there was a storm in South Carol in Florence, South Carolina, while they were doing this show, and after the first match, WWE, uh, the arena that WWE was in, lost power and the pay-per-view feed and the pay-per-view signal. So WWE then. The people who ordered this pay-per-view only saw the first match and the main event. So what the WWE did is two days later, on February 28th, 1996, from the North Charleston Coliseum in North Charleston, South Carolina, WWE uh, re-ran the uh, two matches that were on on the 26th, plus did live the three matches that no one saw. This became known as Beware of Dog 1 and Beware of Dog 2. Now, for the purpose of this review, I am condensing all of them, but I will tell you in the purposes of the review which is from Beware of Dog 1 and which is from Beware of Dog 2. So, opening match of the night. Mark Marrow versus Hunter Hearst Helmsley. This match is be from Beware of Dog 1. A uh, very good match here. It's actually underrated. You know, it's uh, an actually underrated uh, Mark Marrow match. I think it's one of his better WWE matches. And I think this is one of Triple H's better WWE matches. Uh... Very good match. This feud really was all about the fact that Mark Merrill took Sable from uh, Triple H. And that's really what started this feud. Um, it's a very good match. It's three and a half stars. Triple H goes for the pedigree. Uh, Merrill counters, slingshots, Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley into the uh, turnbuckle and he hits the post knocking him out and Merrill gets the win. Three and a half stars this. Good match. So then we get to the WWE Championship match. This is the only other match people on the 26th and on pay-per-view saw. And that is Shawn Michaels versus the British Bulldog. Story going into this was Shawn Michaels had actually, uh, in the storyline, made a pass at uh, Diana Hart, or Diana Smith, and the Bulldog wanted revenge for that. Now, while this was a storyline, I d knowing that what Michaels was in '96 and the kind of prick he was, I don't really think that uh, you know this could have been very believable that he actually did do that. So uh, this is a very good match. Uh, it's three and a half stars. It ends with a double pin, in which one referee counts Sean's shoulders and the other referee counts Bulldogs. And that's a double pin, and that double pin leads to their, um, it leads to their, uh, match at the King of the Ring in 1996. Three and a half stars. So, In Your House 1 gets a 7 out of 10. Gets a 7 stars out of a possible 10, which is actually a, an A-, minus because that's like 85%. But, I'm mixing In Your House, uh, Beware It All 2 of this. Uh, the first match in Beware of Dog 2 is the Caribbean Strap match. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Savio Vega. Uh, four stars. Uh, very good match. This match had two stipulations. If Steve, if Stone Cold won, then Savio Vega would be um, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase's chauffeur. And if Savio Vega won, then the Million Dollar Man would be leaving the WWE. Uh, this is a four star match. Uh, Savio Vega won. He had touched three corners and then Austin pulling on the strap. He went into the fourth corner and touched that. And that's how Savio Vega won. So he actually won kind of a way that's kind of fluky.
in a way. But, good match, four stars. Very underrated uh, rivalry, Austin and Vega. I think they had a series of good matches. Uh, so then we get Vader versus Yokozuna. For a big man match, this is uh, it's nothing special, but it's one star. Uh, Vader wins after Yoko goes to Bonsai Cornet. Uh, Vader moves Cornet, so Yoko misses the Bonsai. And then Vader splashes uh, Yoko's injured leg a couple times and hits the Vader bomb and wins the match. So then we get a casket match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Goldust versus The Undertaker. Two and a half stars. Okay, casket match. Taker looks to have the match won after a tombstone, but he opens the casket lid and Mankind's in the casket. Mankind puts the mandible claw on um, Taker and puts Taker in the casket and then Goldust shuts the lid, winning the match. Uh, so two and a half stars. Goldust and Taker actually had three matches in 96. So, yeah. Now, this, now they waited to continue this feud uh, at International Incident in July because Taker and Mankind had a match at King of the Ring in 96. So, the combined star ratings for this show is 14.5 out of a possible 25. Uh, that puts it um, in the C range. It makes it a, a C plus because half of 25 is uh, 12.5. So, this is 14.5, so it's two. It's a whole two stars higher than the C average, than the normal C, so it's a C plus. If it would have got to 20, it would have been a... If it would have gotten to 16, it would have been B minus, 18, B, uh, 20, B plus, and if it would have got to like 21 or 22, it would have been an A minus. So... And if you average both of the stars anyway, because uh, part one got a seven out of ten, and part two got got a seven and a half out of ten. So if you average them together, it's around there anyway. So the set, the episode three in the Slams of May is going to be Slambury 1994, which will be uploaded tomorrow, provided I get a chance to watch it and I'm not busy. So if you like the video, uh, like button is down there, subscribe button is down there. This will be in the Slams of May playlist, and thank you for watching. Bye.